Okay, today I am making the folio that goes in the Spring Fling box. Now the box is posted in a separate tutorial. You may have already seen it. It is this one. It is made with lightweight chipboard and the Spring Fling, Spring Fling collection by Echo Park. It's held with a magnet right here. And it opens like this. Now my album is going to have ribbons that hang out this flap and there is room here for, um, it's a tuck spot as well. So that will be a separate tutorial. And the folio that goes inside is what we're making today. So far I have put together my album cover just to save time. My last tutorial was almost three hours long. It was just really, really long. So what you're going to need is two pieces of 5x7 chipboard and then the spine is 1x7. I've wrapped it with the white artisan cardstock and I made a pocket for each of the front insides. This is just going to be a small folio and I have attached the left side and my design paper for the background. This doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom because it's going to be covered. So I thought we'd make this pocket together on this side. So I have a piece of, I think it's four and a half by eight. Mm, yes, four and a half by eight. And the no, this is four by seven. This is four and a half by eight. And on this one, we're going to score both short ends at a half. Then the long side, we're going to score at a half and almost three quarters. What I did was I put it in my uh, scoreboard and I scored it at a half. Then I moved it up just a smidge and I scored it again. And then I just cut out my corners. And I mitered them just a little bit so I don't have any overhang. Then this four by seven piece is going to go inside the pocket and I want it to come right up to the edge so that you can see the design paper underneath. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of glue at the bottom. Just to close it up. And on these two flaps. On the inside of the flaps. this inside and that'll make your little pocket. You don't want it to hang over the edge and then tuck these in. Might need to put more glue on those because I wasn't fast enough. enough and this artisan dries pretty quick. Let me put a little bit more glue down here and a little bit more over here. And this side. So that makes your pocket. And you can see you've got quite a bit of room in it. I don't want to pull it up on it too hard till that has a chance to dry. And then your first half inch score is going to attach to the outside edge of the album cover. I'll get a little glue on that. And my watch is beeping. This little bottle always tips over on me. Okay, so we want just on the first score line the half inch so that we have bit of a gusset in there because we're going to put another piece underneath it and we want to have some leeway there. Make sure I don't have any overhang there. That looks good. I just don't want it hanging over the edge of the front. Okay, now that leaves us a little gusset. 
so that what we put inside doesn't make it all protruding. Okay, now this piece, let me put this back in here for now because it dries up pretty quick. This is the piece that is going to go down here. Now, if you want a magnet in yours, now is the time to put it in. I'm thinking uh, that I may do just paper clip embellishments to put at the top of each of these because when they close they'll be like this. And that's what I'm thinking, but they might... Uh, let me think this through. They might make a little bit too much bulk. Mm, okay, let's do a magnet. Let me find it. See if I got a large magnet. Well, I know I do. I just don't have them out here. Get some magnets. But so that um, one doesn't pull on the other, because when you close this, if your magnets are together, that can pose a problem. So on the left side, let's put it down towards the bottom. It'll still hold it shut. Put it down here with a little half inch score tape. And then we'll get our positive. up the trash so I'll get it later. Mm -hmm. and let's put a little piece of score tape over that one. Now the inside of these flaps where I'm putting the second magnet, I'm going to save that for photomats so I haven't cut anything for it yet. Okay, now on this side, let's put it more towards the top. Then you won't have one magnet pulling on the other. And I want it to be about in here. Let me see how that's going to be. Yeah, that won't be too close to the edge. I don't like to get them too close to the edge because then it's hard to get your paper to lay down. Oh, come on, turkey. Get off of there. If I had more fingernails, it would be easier. Okay, we're going to put this about like so. And that'll work. Okay. Now you can still make the paper clip embellishments if you choose to. You just don't have to because you'll have an alternative now. Either magnets or paper clips or binder clips or whatever. <coughs> what was that? That was a negative. So we need a positive. in place. Now I can trim this down. I left it extra wide to make sure I was going to have enough room. And pencil. And I want to cut it right there. Make a little pencil mark. Let me cut that real quick. Now I did not ink any of the pages because of the white cardstock. Oops, I didn't want to muddy them up and make them look dirty. You know, a lot of the inks would do that. So, let's just trim this off. Make sure it's nice and straight. Doesn't look exactly straight. Let me see. Make sure it's going to be okay. Fine. 
is good. Okay, so let's try this down. We'll get this in place. Take this score tape backing off. fairly short video. I just mostly wanted to give you the placement of the flaps and what have you so that my cut list makes sense to y'all. Let me pull it to the right just a hair. going to do on this left side. My nails look discolored. I know I was doing blueberries yesterday. And the blueberries are really hard on my nails. So this one is 5 and 7 eighths by 12. One long piece. And it, whoop, lost that and I need it. This is kind of like Tamara's lay flat pocket, only it doesn't lay flat. This is 12 by 5 and 7 eighths, and you're going to score both long sides at one half. Then you're going to turn it with a 12 to the top, and you're going to score at three and a half, at six, and at ten. Then you go into each one of these scores, and you'll make a little V, v notch. And you'll do that. There'll be three notches on each side. Ignore this score line. That was my mess up. But it isn't going to show. So once you do those notches, the first one goes under, the second one goes under, the third one as well, and then the fourth one folds at the top. Then we have a piece that is um, five and seven eighths by, what was it? I forget. By two and three quarters and it is going to fit in here. So that gives you one, two, three, four pockets because we'll leave it open at the top. But you want to put your design paper on first. So I'm going to put pink at the top, then the butterflies, no, then this, this print, then the blue, and then the butterflies. And then that will attach here. And that will make four pockets. Isn't that cute? I could thank Tamara for this idea. I just wanted it to have more room inside. <clears throat> okay. So let's put this one down. So that I could put um, photo mats and embellishments and what have you on it. Or in it. In the little pockets. There's a lot of really cute cut aparts with this collection. I want to be able to, to use as many as I can. So let me put this in here. Jeez, why didn't I flatten it out? I'm making it harder on myself. Just leave yourself a little wide edge at the top. And on both sides. Actually, I guess it's okay. Then on the next one, we have this one. One of my neighbors gave me four pounds of blueberries. I made the best blueberry cobbler the other night. It was gone before I went to bed. I mean, they loved it. So, oops, that's crooked. Don't do that. There we go. Okay. Now this 
one is going to go at the top of this insert. put my scissors on the inside and lay them up against that corner. And that way you won't get into your corner. This one I've already done. And that one I didn't do yet. Make sure that this one I didn't do. And they just kind of fly all over the place. Okay, so now we can glue that down. So let's put glue on this one. These little tabs. And a nice two. ready to go in here. Now I'm going to leave that score tape on there just because I'm leaving this open. And I'm going to put a piece of tape over it to keep embellishments from catching on it. A piece of Just a little piece of packing tape. edge and not want to scoot over it so I am going to lay this packing tape down here and that will help anything I put in there slide right over it okay so let's glue this down so we're going to glue the bottom tab here this one here right 
across the bottom on this side and this little tab here on the side. And then I glued me. That was going to be a little right there. will still close over it and the magnet still catches it. If I used the small magnets it wouldn't have caught. They're just not heavy duty enough. They work for like maybe one page flap but not a whole lot of thickness. Let me get rid of some of my junk here. Okay. <clears throat> for this side there is going to be a waterfall in here. This will be left for photo mats and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these outsides yet but I wanted to give you the the majority of the placements oh yes I do have for this side I have it figured out it's just this side I don't the waterfall is going to go in here and I will show you what my plan is these are all the four by four pieces I think let me see yes four by four and there's seven of them and the base is four by eight so I want to make sure my base is not going to be too long before I go any farther and it is just a smidge longer than what I want so let me score a quarter inch off of that and I may have to trim up the bottom one. I need it to be just a little bit shorter. So I'm going to score it at six and seven eighths. And that's with the top flat folded down. there. I'm getting glue off my fingers everywhere. Okay, I scored it at six and seven eighths and that was with this top flat folded under. And that would be much better. Okay. That is the base. Now, if you want to, you can leave this open, but I think I'm just going to glue it down completely because we're going to have enough places for picture mats and folios. The only way you're going to have enough room to put something under here is if you scoot it all the way to the right, which you can do, which might be an option. I'll give it some thought, <laughs> but for now, we're going to glue these down. So the first one I have cut... one of the um, cut aparts and I trimmed it off at the top and the bottom to make it fit and then I cut two little turquoise pieces. I'm going to use the polka dot I think out here. So let me place those. see the white on white. I'm going to put it out here. I like to put the edge pieces down first. So I can always trim up the larger piece if I need to. Now, 
this one will go in the center. And it should work out fine. Okay. Oops. And that will be your first piece. And it will go right along the top. And you don't want to miter the edge on these. You want to make sure that you've got a square edge to help you line it up. strips one half inch to go at the bottom of each one so that I have a continuation of a pattern like this so I will go ahead and work on that after a while I just wanted to show it to you and I will come back and do uh, the finished walkthrough so you can see after I got it all put together I just don't want to take too much of your time for the tutorial now on this side, I have four, uh, I think I said, cut them four and a half by seven, and it's four pages. If you want them all to be flush, they're four by seven. If you want them to be staggered like mine, then you'll take a half inch off of this one, an inch off, and an inch and a half. That way your pattern's going to show just like on the other one, the waterfall. So this one is going to attach to the left side right here. And I'll have to cut papers for the back side of these. I haven't done that yet either. Oh, you know what? I didn't snip these little edges. Now I'm going to have glue on my scissors, but... I don't want to take a chance of any overage. Come on, turkey. Let's cooperate. There we go. And put it right along the edge of your second score line where we made that little gusset. my first strip and my second strip. Now the second one, you can see how it's just a little bit shorter. I didn't trim none of these. Shame on me. Okay, so then we need the next piece. I'm trying to keep my little strips separated so they stay in order. So that when I put them back on, they will be in order. And another one I didn't trim. Oh, terrible, terrible. What did I do? Scissors. Here they are. So let's snip a little off of this. It just helps hide the edges when you glue the next piece down. So, there's that. So, we will glue this down. 
on top of that piece and I'm just lining up the bottom and the left side. So we will have design paper inside here to cover those. And then here's the fourth one. And we'll trim it too. Okay, so let's put our first strip down. And we'll just leave a little border at the top. Just a tiny white edge. Like that. Get our next one, make sure this is it. Yep, that's it. I make sure the leaves and stuff match up. I think it looks cool to have them flow in order like that. This is the way the waterfall will go to the third one. Just kind of makes a cool effect, I think. Now, before you do the first one, the top one, you want to make sure that you put your ribbon down if you're going to use a ribbon, because remember, the um, magnet is only holding back of this down. It's not holding all the pages. sent me blue, or no, pink, yellow, and gray. And then I had some teal left from another project, which I'll use. But right now, I want to use the pink. Here's what they sent me. Pink, gray, and yellow. And those are pretty. And I'm going to use the pink on this little folder here. enough to it. <coughs> and then I need a piece for the back side. And it needs to go right about here. Oh no it doesn't. What a dummy. It needs to go here. Oh, it's too late. It's already on there. I'll cut another piece. That would just tie the four pages together. It wouldn't tie it to the other piece. 
Okay, so. I need it to be right here. Oh, it's just below that. Actually, does it need to be above it? It needs to be above just a little bit. So I'm going to put it right over here. Let's put our pink ribbon down here, just so it goes right off the edge of that. And that ought to be plenty enough to tie a bow or something. I have to take it down just a notch off of that to make it match, but that's okay. I don't want it to be too high. So we'll put it down right here. That's okay. You can still catch it. And we'll turn this off. Now we can put this piece down. I just love making folios and trying to make them all different each time. So we'll put that right in there. Actually, you know what? I can take just a hair off of this. camera sorry guys you'll end up with a headache there I'm gonna take just a snip off the bottom okay now we'll glue it again I couldn't see the white border at the bottom I should have done a dry fit for it glued it it's what I always say to do and then I didn't do it myself I didn't trim too much off. I don't think I did. No, it'd be okay. There we go. That's better. Gives us a, a white border at the bottom. There we go. Now I like it. Now we can tie this. And as usual, I left myself too much ribbon. I always do that. Better being too short, not being able to tie it. So there's that side. I think what I'm going to do over here is just a mirror image of this. I really like that. I think I'll do the same thing here. Like I said, we'll keep these for uh, photo mats. And then we've got this pocket over here. And we'll have photo mats here. And this has got one, two, three, four pockets. So that'll be plenty of space. So let's go to the outside. This is the back. And you can see where I seen my card stop, but that's okay. It's not going to show. I don't know if that's a pencil line or what it is. Whatever it is came off, so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do to the back is the pink from the spectrum paper and then I'm going to put a little pocket on it 
and that way you can put a little note, a little journaling spot, or you can put um, a gift card, all kinds of things in there. I just didn't want to leave the back blank. It seems like so much of the time our backs are left blank. Now, let me... I already trimmed it, good girl. About time I did it right, isn't it? Okay, let me punch this little notch in the same spot as that one. Make sure I have that work. Notch out. That will go here. Another little flap is going to go up above, but I want to hide my flap. So what I am going to do, let me make sure of my placement here. I kind of want it to be centered as best I can. So I am going to cut it. Wish me luck that I don't cut it wrong. I'm going to cut it about here. From here to here. Actually I can go up a little bit higher. About up there. Okay, so I'm going to, right here, to here, get where I can see my lines. And I'm going to put it in my paper cutter, my glitter trimmer, and I'm going to go from be careful when I go. I got a piece of paper stuck there. I'll get that out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's make sure it's straight. And there is my cut line. There. And I'm going to cut straight across. And I don't want to go over it. I'm to it there. I can go back a little ways here. Just a tad more. That should be just fine, I hope. Let's see. I just wanted to bury that flap. Make sure it's going to fit down in there. Let me trim these. slide in there. this down in my little slot. And make sure it's even. Even Steven. Where's my Riddler? Oh, I tell you. Close my head at one attached. There we go. Turn it over and glue the underside down. Now I'm going to 
put a magnet on it. And I was going to do a light one, a small one, but I'm just afraid it won't hold it. So I'm going to do the big one. And I'm going to put it right here. And that was, I don't know what it was. negative. We're going to try positive, see if that works. Yep. So positive is going to go here. Oops. Crazy. Knock it right out of my hands. And I like to put plenty of glue around the magnet. Make sure it's going to stay where I want it to. Alright, it just is the back. So I'm going to... When my magnet is grabbing, I can feel it pulling. See, it's trying to grab and make it go crooked. Quit it. There. These magnets are strong. Definitely strong. Let's put our paper in our little pocket. That is your four by four and a half little pocket. pocket in place. I think it is. Let me pull this off of here. Yeah, it wasn't catching. Okay. So do we want polka dot or stripe? We want polka dot. Because we got stripe on the pink. little yellow strip to go across there.
bring all the colors together. This one on top. Oops. Said I wanted the polka dot on top, and then there I go, start gluing it. But I got it off of there. And there is that. And the little flap is the three by three piece. And there is the flap. If I had enough glue on there, but I think I do. Now the little yellow strip again. Make sure that's even. And we're going to put the little flower bouquet, but it's okay if it hangs off because I've got white behind it, so it's finished. So I'm just going to, all but the very bottom of the stems. There's our little pocket. And put a gift card or note in there. All right, how cute. All right. Now the front. I will show you the front, and then I'll go ahead and put it all together. I don't want to make you all sit here and watch me glue to my heart's content. But let me see what I do with the pieces. I'm waiting on some pieces to dry that I did. I'm going to put this gingham on the front and on the spine. And then I have this cut apart. I cut it down a little bit to make it fit. It says, let's go fly a kite. I'm going to put that on the front and tie in that pink on the back. And then I have two little clouds I cut out, but I'm waiting on these chipboard pieces that I painted the edge. This one feels like it's almost dry. And I'm going to attach this to the chipboard so I can pop it up. And then here's the center of it. It comes in pieces. And I'm going to put two clouds and it's the small cloud and then a sun on there oops and this sun but I have to wait on my chipboard pieces to dry so I can pop them up and what else did I have I have a kite somewhere to put on there oh it's this one this was from the sticker sheet I'm going to put the kite up here like that. It'll be flying along in the air. It may have to hang off the edge, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to have the kite, this verse, two clouds, and a sun on the front. So as soon as my chipboard dries, then I can put that together. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial today. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Uh, if you do make one, I hope you'll share it with me. If you do, just tag me. I love to see what you guys create. This has been a lot of fun to work with. It's a super cute paper collection. So, that's it. 
Alright, thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the walkthrough. Alright guys, bye.